Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funding channel. Let's continue our payment section. We in our last video we compared up to the create.lay.php this page. Here let's go to the controller again. Payment controller. Here you have to make the simple changes when you create the create function. Here this is a payments. Okay, the payments not there. Here you have a get the enrollment number from enrollment table, not payment table. So here we have a simple modification enrollment table. This one also enrollments. Okay, enrollments, right? Okay, so it's a payment create page, right? So here this is a payment create page, right? So let's save all. Again, we have to do another thing is copy this and paste it over here. This one also we have enrollment. We have to paste it over here. Right, yeah, that's the thing you have to do it. Now let's back to our create.dead.php. Uh, sorry, the uh, payment this one, this page. Now, here, now what I'm going to say, I'm going to go to index.dead.php. This page, I'm going to create this enrollment number. number enrollment number after that we have to write nothing is a pay date and amount pay date And amount fraction right so this one should be the auto increment first one irritation second one should be the uh, uh, enrollment number enrollment 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 number we have to get in from the relationship the payments we have a payment this is a payment model Okay, the payment model. So we have the payment model. It is it's like the payment model. Here this I we have at a region belongs to the enrollment table. Now we have to get it that function and get them. Right. So let's get them over like this. So let's back to our payment section. Index create here. Sorry, uh, that's the page index page so here we have to write uh, I had I I am explaining here item here enrollment enrollment number the enrollment number enrollment we already make the relationship in pay, pay, payment table here enrollment enrollment table the payment table there is a enrollment here enrollment ID if we, are, if we are given this relationship we are accessing all the properties from the enrollment class so we need what is this instead of enrollment ID we are getting from enrollment number. So here okay, we are getting from enrollment number here. This class we already made the relationship. So don't worry. Right, that's it. That's the thing you have to do. It. Very simple. Right. That's the thing you have to do. The payment model. After that, third one should be the uh, date. Right. So that that is a date. You have to write what's a date. Pay date after the amount. Right, payment date. Pay date after the amount. Right. Now it goes to where which URL? Slash it goes to enrollments, right? But got enroll. Sorry, this one should be the payments. It's the same pay, payments, 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 right? Get the idea and go to the payments again. Real payment. Right, 
that's the thing you have to do it file save all after that you have to write the shop.data.php this one should be some payments right payments you have to write here this one we have to the thing is index this one should be the thing is so this one should be enrollment number pay date after the amount right so index page we have we no need the name it's not there right perfect now let's file save all so now after that we have to go to edit it was same thing you have to create uh the same thing you have to write the things right the uh, edit blade this all things you have to write uh this one should be the enrollment number number payments payments all the badges you have to make as payments id enrollment number this one should be the second one should be the uh, enrollment number after that what you have written Pay date. So pay date. Pay date. Pay date. Payments with out of that. Third one should be the amount. that's it that's the thing we have to write okay that's the thing you have to write pay it and pay it. right that's the thing you have to write okay right now what i'm going to do is uh id this uh this id is hidden field that's the enrollment number enrollment number you have to write here uh you have to write the enrollment number you have to go to the enrollment table the same thing you have to write there this uh that's the payment table payment table which you are going to do is we have to go to the, the same thing we have to get it here to edit as well when you click the edit page as well and make it now here the enrollment number you get it here right but here we have to paste it here as well the payments edit right payment edit let's come back we have to throw the payments here this payments this payment here is payments as well as enroll this enroll but we will get rid of this slides okay what i did so far here we have to make it like this then we have to load the instead of the enrollment id you have to also enrollment number so we, we easy to edit this one that's why you have to write like this okay that's why we have to write like this that's the thing you have to write like this the same thing we have to go back to our enroll sorry the payments edit page Okay, the payment edit page here is a page now i am going to go to create page that's a create page the create page sorry not a create block the same thing i just copied 
label this all things select all the statement copied paste it here as well edit as well that's it that's it That's the thing you have to write it. Right. Now let's file save all. Let's file save all. Uh, let's run the application and check. Right. Here we have to make the uh, route as well. Payments and the URL is coming. Payments, payment control, payment control. Right now, let's execute that and check it. Uh, before that, we have to make the link as well, the layout page. We have the layout page, so layout page. You have to bring the link uh, link over here is a payment. The payment also you have to write this a payments. When the URL is coming, payments. This goes to the respective page payments. Okay. File save all. Bring back to our application project. Payments. Uh, class is uh, control post no right 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 here the problem is payment we ask the problem is coming you can see here the problem is coming from the controller is the section okay here where I have a I have here, here it's a payment okay this is not a this one payment payment model that's a problem so I'll save all again bring back to the application again I have a problem uh, this line what is it? Undefined course. Okay, here. Okay, here I have I haven't changed it. That's the problem. Index also I haven't changed its payments. I suddenly change uh, any other mistakes. I leave some mistakes. Let's, let's do the another thing. Is there any mistakes? Right. That's the only the mistake we have. Now let's file save. See, there's a uh, badges. Right, the when you execute the badges, this one should be the what the payments the pay. Okay, here why I show the address and all. So you can see simply someone comment me on the comment box. Uh, they are not reading the error. What is the error is coming from where in Laravel? It it indicate the error simply here. The way where the errors coming from every everything it show you here simply it show you here in which line the line also they are show. So easily you can identify the error and rectify the error okay so here let's go to the page payments index page so here the badge is not a badge just page but the page payments i have set the wrong url that's a problem okay it's coming from where we are we here payment controller this is the things it will be it will be return to the view okay right now it's working successfully now let's click add new now here the course will be you will be able to view uh, here the course you will be able to view now we have to change the things the batch this is not a batch name this all the things you have to change it yeah this is not a batch if you have clicked this this is wrong I I put the wrong thing uh, that's the index page when you click add name it goes to where payments create page payments folder create page
Check payment paid. Uh, why this is not uh, works? Okay. Not here. We no need to. We have a payment page. Uh, index dot payment here. Payment page create. Payment create. Control is to save. Back to the application again. Payments. Click add. Some problem. It's the payment ID enrollment number. Uh, what is the problem we have here? Undefined variable payments. Right. So let's see. Now here, what I'm going to say, you have to enroll months. This is not a payment. You have to call it as here, enroll months. You can see here, payments. Here this one say enrollments. Okay, it's it's enrollments. You have to pass into here enrollments. Right, enrollments. So enrollment ID. Right, so enrollment number. That's it. File save all and check it back. It's working here. It's working here. It's working. Now it's working. No problem. Right now, if we want to save the data, uh, today date 7th 6 2023, amount 12,000. Save. Ah, the problem is here. Uh, name doesn't, does not have a default value. Ah, here the problem is I have already, I, I, I didn't say. Uh, do the like, not batch this one should be there our payment this one should be there uh, uh, the thing let's go to the payment create here we have a not badges this one should be the payments payments so payments Payments. Why it's redirect to create a uh, store payments. Right, uh, let's begin we have to write restarted payment you have to add it here successfully you have to change it thousand save now it's working payment is goes to payment invalid date incorrect date it's column dp write it now the problem see the date the dot date format will be the problem right so it's a date prop date you have to write like this something problem in the date we have a problem with right now it's working right there's a problem i have given the data type as date that's why it's a problem okay now it's working perfectly well now okay this one the badges we have to change this one as a payments Favor. Now let's refresh it. It's paid. Now let's edit. This goes to edit page. It's working. If you delete the record, it's confirmed delete. Okay, it's delete. Right? It's working perfectly well. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me. In time. If you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.